Well, we are back for the Halloween Spooktacular, and we cannot talk about Scooby-Doo without talking about one of the greatest crossovers in TV history. One of the best episodes of Supernatural. The best episode of Supernatural in years, probably. That was in season 13 and like, what what was this, 2018, 19? Probably uh, 18 or 19. Yeah, Scooby-Natural. Yeah. Oh, so much goddamn fun watching this movie <laughs> or not not a movie episode tv episode it's not a movie um, i wish yeah, it was Sco- supernatural obviously i mean we'll talk about it i'm sure in depth at some point for some anniversary or something but that was a huge show for both of us yeah. both of us pretty much acknowledge that the show in later seasons kind of was a lot of ups and downs yeah. um it's, it's a it's a ride for sure yeah it's um and occasionally you'd get like a great episode but one thing supernatural always was never afraid to do was anything like it it was never afraid to do any sort of concept because the show allowed for there to be all sorts of crazy different kind of scenarios like they go to a world where they're playing their actors right or they go to a world where you know there's all different weird scenarios in supernatural but there's no weirder like episode idea then we're gonna do a scooby-doo and supernatural crossover which you think is a match made in heaven yeah i mean how was that not done earlier in the show's run (laughs) even before the episode came out i remember there being fan art of like people drawing the the winchesters with the mystery ink like it was a thing like people wanted it to happen yeah and i remember when they announced it it was like oh yeah it's gonna be like an animated episode of supernatural with the scooby gang i was like that's crazy that they're actually doing it but i remember they announced it like a year in advance yeah like, because it took because so long for them to, to animate it yeah, yeah. it was like in season 12 they were like oh yeah we're doing a scooby doo episode in season 13 i'm like oh shit okay <laughs> yeah and then it premiered like late into the end uh, season 13 too um yeah just because it took it took so long to do the voices took so long to do um the animations so but yeah, I mean, they're both owned by Warner Brothers, so... Yeah, they, it's uh, Made in Heaven, again. This is, yeah. this is the Hanna-Barbera cinematic universe that I want, okay? <laughs> and it could have been, if it was handled poorly, it could have been really, really bad and cringy. But instead, I mean, it's like a legitimately, like, fun episode yeah. that is clever. It has fun homages to Scooby-Doo. It has great interactions between the Winchesters and Cass and the, the Scooby gang. Damn Growing up on the road, no matter where dad dragged us, no matter what we did, there was always a TV. And you know what was always on that TV? Scooby and the gang. These guys, they're our freaking role models, man. Except Fred, he's a wad. Now, how do I look? Two-dimensional. Perfect. (laughs) Uh, Hi. (laughs) Uh, uh, I'm Dean. It's my brother Sam. Mind if we join you? Of course not. There's plenty of room. I'm Fred. This is Velma, Shaggy, Scooby, and... Daphne. Enchante. Of course we know you. You guys are famous. You're you're hanging out with Marmaduke. (gasps) How dare you? And hitting on Daphne when she's clearly with Fred. (laughs) She's settling. (laughs) There. There. Look how big my mouth is. Yeah, like it's just like it's a great episode. I, I remember. I think I missed the airing of it, but I remember you watched it live when it aired. Yeah, I remember. Did. I remember. I vividly remember the text you sent me after you saw it. You were like, "Best episode of Supernatural in years." Yeah, I mean, it felt. It was just fun. It was just a fun ride, and it also was like, it was. It was fun because it took the tone of Supernatural and applied it to Scooby Doo. Yeah, which so was, it was awesome. like. Like the gang would open a door, there's like a dismembered body. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, like, yeah, and then cartoon Dean would be like, Wait, wait, no, wait, this isn't right. This didn't happen in the episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, it was fun because like Dean was like a big super, uh, Scooby Doo fan. So he was like this, like geeking out the whole time, or like hitting oh on Daphne. It was the freaking Scooby gang, except Fred. He's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and like Sam's just kind of like, What? Like, You're out here this? chilling with Marmaduke. <gasps> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> well, like, even like the mystery machine racing the Apollo, like yeah. it was like, come on, Fred, a- chicken. So much fun, but I think the episode really becomes great when they have to explain to the classic mystery in group that like monsters and demons are real. 
and they're, we, they have we've been, t- we've been chasing investment bankers this whole time like they have am this I going ex- to hell am i gonna die <laughs> this existential crisis where it's like daphne's like am i going to hell oh my god and then like they're like hey, offering them like weapons <laughs> and, like, it's, like, it's so no, good wait sir that's a scooby don't <laughs> yeah like you, it was you gotta try <laughs> <laughs> and even like I love that they didn't like cheap out on the animation. Like it looks like the like direct to DVD Scooby Doo movies. Like it's yeah. got that same it's animation. It's amazing, yeah, yeah. And it just worked so well, like so flawlessly. I'm like, I was shocked that it was so good. Like, <laughs> my mouth <laughs> But yeah, it was. It's a just a fun episode. Like the whole. It's thing. so quotable too. Yeah, it's a good one. It's it's one of the later supernatural ones where I ended the episode. And I was like, I legitimately had like no problems with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's like a it it's it, it was the first supernatural episode in years that did that. Yeah, like a lot of those later seasons, it's kind of like if they had done this in the Jeremy Carver era. It would have been fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry for all you supernatural fans who like seasons eight through eleven. If you like, I like some episodes. I, I I don't mind. I don't like season ten. That's the only one of those that I don't like. So yeah, yeah. I can tolerate eight. I can tolerate nine. I can tolerate eleven. I'm sorry for all you Jeremy Carver fans out there. Yep. Uh, but um, no. I mean, I dude like Dean. Dean's just trying to like make friends with the Scooby Gang like as as much as possible. It's like yeah. <laughs> I love when they first get transported too. And it's like. I'm in a cartoon. You're in a cartoon. How do I look, Sam? Three dimension or two dimensional? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like Velma's like into, into Sam. <laughs> Those shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it was good. It was just so fun. Well, I love I I love the structure of the episode. It starts off as live action, and then Dean. The whole thing is is that Dean gets a TV for his room in the bunker, and then he turns it on, and they get transported into the world of Scooby Doo. Which I think is fucking hilarious. And then they come out of it. Well, Cass gets transported there eventually too. Yeah. And then I can, they come out of it and it goes back to the live action stuff. So I think that that was actually pretty smart. Start live action, do most of the episode with animation, and then go back to live action at the end. Dude, Dean at the end doing the whole Scooby Dooby Doo thing with the ascot. <laughs> it was hilarious, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I always like to that this episode like they they do all of like the conventional Scooby Doo things like they yeah. even have like the running away montage through the doors. Scooby Doo, yeah, yeah, and it's Scrappy briefly. Scrappy makes a cameo, which is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah. It was just all around just a great episode, and it felt like it was right for both franchises to have that. It just felt cool. Well, yeah, like I said, dude, match made in heaven, where you have, I mean, you have supernatural that deals with actual supernatural stuff, and then you have Scooby Doo that deals with people dressing up as ghosts in masks where you might think that they're real, but they're actually not like how, how can you not do a crossover between these two franchises? It's true. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely true. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So those are our thoughts on Scooby natural. We had to talk about it if we were talking about Scooby doo this Halloween. So it was one of the greatest hours of television ever. I (laughs) I watched this episode religiously every October. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's, it's a great one. Yeah. Um, Pat, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at this Pat guy, and you can find me on YouTube at Agamogo. All right. You can find me at my official website, alexmanamovies.mystrikingly.com. All my social media links are there. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex. That's Pat. We'll see you at the movies somewhere. Do your thing. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, you're not a talking dog. Ha, 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 ha.